RPG Maker tip number 11. This is going to be a follow-up tip from tip number nine, which showed you how to change the self switch of an event from a different event. As you can see, we have a sword and a red button here. When we interact with the sword, it's going to turn self switch A on. When self switch A is on, the sword's going to be gone. In the event for the red button, it's going to check to see if the sword self switch is on. If it is, it's going to turn its own self switch on, which will change the button to press. In this event, we use a conditional branch to run this script call. Make sure when you create the conditional branch, you click the create else branch. The script call is the same as it was from tip number nine, map ID, event ID, self switch you're checking. The first set of events after if are what you want to happen if the self switch is on. The else set of events is what you want to do when the switch is not on. If it's on, we want the button to be pressed. If it's not, we want the text to show sword is not pulled. Testing it out, we can see sword is not pulled. Pull the sword, that turns its self switch on. We go to the red button, the red button is pressed. Enjoy!